Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm back again with another video today. Uh, as you can see, I have finally made the long, long grind to God rank. Uh, did that last night and I'm just going to run through some of the replays for the promotion matches. So if you're not aware of, um, of, of what the whole process is, you start off in bronze and you have to win about five matches uh, or games even to uh, move up each tier and then at the end of each tier you have a promotion match um, where you have to win a certain amount of games uh, I think bronze to silver, silver to gold is just one and then it's um, best of three uh, but master into god uh, you need to win three out of five and uh, I actually managed to do it um, all three in a row uh, as you can see from uh, my record the last three matches here um, and uh, yeah we'll have we'll have a look at them uh, there were some issues of course with the matchmaking uh, and my record was my record 139 wins in ranked uh, with the 77 percent rate which it's okay it, you know it's respectable not the highest but uh, the grind is finally over for God rank at least hopefully I'll be climbing up some places as well as we progress throughout the season uh, I I use Gohan yeah I know boring boring green deck uh, but uh, we can take a look at it I can run you through the list uh, it, it seems to work quite well uh, on the client uh, obviously we've got the one drops I played 218s these were coming in and out a lot uh, I've ended up with the two back in at the moment Three trunks. Uh, this is really good against red aggro. Uh, you want to have some sort of board clear uh, and board control early on, so they don't just kill you. Uh, two of the blocker trunks for, for just for extra ramp, and um, it's a five-year combo as well. You can grab it off the Gohan, uh, so it, it, it's pretty nice. It, it comes up sometimes uh, against some of the crit leaders, but uh, most of the time you do want to be charging with destructive strength, of course. For Vegeta, because it's probably the best SR in the set. Uh, for Goku, which you need in Gohan. Uh, four of uh, this Firecrop Gohan, who is really good. Um, just that board control uh, against yellow, especially uh, Freezer. Uh, three Turles for more ramp. Uh, two androids and I've, I've got the promo body here. It should be three androids, but I only have two on, on this. So uh, we've been using this. Uh, the 5k uh, for the body has come up a bit. I've never actually played him, but you know, six drop 40k. Uh, one of the secret rare because you do want the board clear sometimes, and it it is relevant in the green matchup as well. Four super combos, four brolly. Uh, this was hovering, you know, three and four throughout the whole the whole sort of process. Uh, we ended up uh, settling on four because you just want to see him, uh, especially in the green mirror. You just need to see him. Four meteors because twenty five k for one cost is uh, ridiculous. And one big bang. This was at two because there are a lot of things that removes uh, the yellow boss monster, uh, red boss monster. It just a lot of things that it does remove. But I found that with two personally, um, I there were times where I lost the game because I had too many uh, non comboable cards and I just um, just lost because uh, I didn't have enough cards to combo, not enough combo power. That wasn't the issue, um, but when when there's a wide board and you need to defend a lot of attacks. So uh, let's take a look at the replays. Um, just three to go through. We might not even go through all three because um, if I show you uh, the last two, <laughs> this was against uh, someone who is uh, now level three, but he was level two. So the the issue with the uh, matchmaking as uh, I mentioned in my previous video which is a review of the digital client uh, that reared its head again uh, this one again was a level 10 uh, so those last two matches were relatively simple well they should have been 
Um, I will show you this one against level 3 because uh, I, I made a few misplays and didn't really take him seriously and uh, almost got punished for it. Uh, but this one, this is the main one we'll, we're looking, we'll be looking at. Uh, this is the first guy I came up against um, in the promotion match, so I was quite worried that I wasn't going to, uh, well, or that that I might fail the promotion uh, because you need to win three out of five. Got ranked player straight off the bat, and um, I thought maybe the matchmaking wasn't going to be in my favour. But um, yeah, we'll we'll take a look at this one. This first game against this god ranked player, he is he is playing trunks, so it's a pretty good matchup for me. Um, and you know, I, I know what he wants to do. He wants to go tall with the pillar loop and the final hope slash. Um, and so, of course, I wanted to focus on ramp to begin with. This hand was, you know, it was okay. It was okay, but I think I. Uh, oh, I kept this hand in the end because I've got the, I've got the um, trunks to ramp. Uh, I've got some end game, and uh, I've got the Vegeta ramp and the Turles ramp options as well. So early turns, uh, he goes into my. Obviously, really strong self awakener for him. And uh, my hand's not looking too great right now, so we'll charge Polly. And uh, at this point in the early stages, you do want to hit the one drops uh, just to filter through your deck and to craft your hand for the later turns. Um, as I didn't have any, I opted to play the trunks early on. Uh, I know he does have removal for it, but all of this removal for the small cards are just back to hand, so I wasn't using the energy anyway, so um, having the trunks on board, potentially pressure on his board. Uh, I thought would have been a great play. So he awakens really early here, uh, which is very critical for him because he's seen he's seen a, l a lot of cards now, and um, he can go tall on me very quickly. Uh, and he has lots of cards to defend himself, and he's got removal as well for any small guys that I drop. So at this point, my blocker trunks would just get bounced. Uh, so the the ramp wasn't really there for me, uh, which could be problematic. So uh, yeah, up to play the trunks um, just to try and control the board, um, so he doesn't have so many swings at me. Uh, because as I said, the the blocker trunks would just get bounced. goes into another Mai, which obviously at this stage, um, if you don't know what Mai does, if you have seven or fewer cards, uh, when an opponent's battle card is returned to their hand, you can draw one card and their leader uh, does this. So the leader can bounce his trunks back to my hand and he would draw two cards if he triggers both, which obviously he would want to. Uh, he doesn't even need to use his leader skill because the Goten would do it anyway for him. So at the moment he's actually in quite a strong position. Uh, and it uh, wasn't looking too great for me right here. Uh, because he does have quite a lot of swings which are relatively big. And now that he's established the bomb as well. It gives him a lot of value with Final Hope Slash, which he can recur with the pillar. So we're awakening here and we're just defending. I'm just defending because I don't really want to go down too low at this point. I know that the longer this drags on, the more beneficial it is for me. So for now, I would like to stay on four, but I think at this point I yeah, I go to three here because it would take too many resources to defend. And this at this point, considering what my hand looks like, I'll just give that pause there. Yeah. So in terms of my hand, the the, the meteor, the brolly, the androids, they they weren't really doing anything in terms of the combo, obviously. 
um, I didn't want to use a super combo and a 10k or uh, 5k even so two cards to combo out of the leader swing um, I know he doesn't have too many double strikers on here um, so going to three at this point was uh, I thought it was fine Here I really do need to ramp, um, so I, uh, you know, try and take some cards out of his hand. And I'm pretty sure I play the Vegeta now to ramp one, and again try to remove his battle card so I can swing into that. Uh, if he let it die, uh, then I could have removed the Bulma, but I think, uh, yeah, he defends it. And I will pitch one, probably a 5k, um, to, to just pick up because I don't want too many things swinging at my base. And at this point I know that I just want to defend. I want to defend hard this turn because next turn I'll play Goku. Uh, I will ramp to 7, it would be, and I can sort of stabilise because it means I can start using my leader skill to get 15k, and the meteor would be live as well, so here I just want to defend, uh, defend everything this time. So here he, yeah, as you can see he starts to peel that loop. Uh, I'm monitoring his energy at all times just to sort of calculate how many swings he has and we'll plan accordingly. But as you can see from at this point he you know he has big swings uh, but he doesn't he doesn't have any energy up now and he doesn't have that many cards in hand. So it's not too scary and I'm going to start having bigger and bigger plays. So the body got charged there. Um, I wasn't anticipating getting to body and using it too much uh, because the androids would probably be the one that seals this game for me. And there uh, we're just trying to take some light up on if we can get into two androids can finish it off. So that's the rationale there. Put him to three now. Next turn, um, we can put him to two and then androids. The Vegeta, Vegeta of course, just um, taking resources off the board. I think I do pop the Bulma here. Yeah, because I don't want him to have a free run, hope, slash. Uh, so it would, it would probably save one extra swing, I think. So here we have the loop, and he should be going to 40k, uh, yeah. Which as I said, it cost him an energy because Bulma's not on board. If this was a free 40k, it might have been a bit more problematic. So here we defend this one, he's still got 3 up. Um, but it means he needs to commit energy and cards into another swing. He plays, yeah, he plays a Goten. He needs to play Peel Up again to get the final hope. And again, that will cost him another energy. So this is pretty much his last big swing of this turn. got the meteor to defend. He does have a lot more cards uh, than I do. He's on 8, I'm on 4, uh, but I do have the board presence and I've got the androids as well if I need it. Here we are. So we're, we're on 8 here so I'm thinking uh, playing the 18 and uh, the double striker. 18 obviously with we'll all the cards. I think I think that's what I do, uh, but at this point I'm just trying to get him down to two. 
uh, without having to pop my leader skill yet or play anything. So, the 18 comes down, uh, we filter through that, which we don't need. And this will draw me a card, and it will cost him a card to defend as well. And he takes this, so... Um, yeah, we just poke him uh, with another leader swing. We do put it to 35 here at this point. Not because I want to do the damage to him, I actually want him to defend this and expend cards from his hand. Um, and then I can double strike him. Uh, that's the plan anyway, uh, we'll see whether that works out. So he actually takes it, uh, so I, I'm i not going to try and kill him this turn now, he's got too many cards in hand, so I'm preparing to defend, uh, and then we can kill him the turn afterwards. Which, uh, after dropping the Bulmer, I think he gets quite close here actually. So yeah, the bomb we're giving him the free 20k boost, uh, which he can put the Pulaf down as well. And Meteor, broken, 20k, <laughs> and just take the weaving off the board as well, so... We do defend this, um, and I know he doesn't, unless he plays a double striker, which um, he can't for the energy that he has, I'm pretty safe just actually just taking these. I'm playing it safe just in case I don't manage to kill him next turn for whatever reason. And it's uh, in Gohan I feel like it's a good habit to play it a bit safer. Uh, unless you know that uh, they definitely can't kill you and you can kill them with the extra cards. Because if you get greedy, you can get punished very easily. So we go to filter through some extra stuff uh, with the 18, and we're just swinging. Uh, just going wide at this point because we don't need to go tall. He's only got he's only got one life, and we can waste all the cards from his hand. Here I'm making sure to keep 6 up for the 17-18 as well, uh, but after drawing the second 18 I think I do go for it, because uh, the 18 plus uh, the Vegeta can be played as well, so that's an extra 2 swings, uh, which would be uh, pretty difficult for him to defend. So he used, uh, I thought it was interesting, uh, that point where he defended with uh, the Gallic Gun because I'm quite sure he had a Final Hope Slash in hand from last turn. So it was interesting that he decided to do the 15k and draw a card rather than hold for the 20k. And here we do play the, we do play the 18 he will draw us another card and it's just really ramping up a lot of uh, advantage now which is um, it's why the 18s went back in because the, the combo power and in games like this where you want to go a bit wider uh, they are very useful yeah, I think we pretty much put everything in here Yeah, so, a bit of an explainer there. Uh, the reason why I helped the Gohan is because uh, I did calculate at the time that I don't think I was actually going to kill him. Uh, so I wanted to keep the Gohan in hand, because even if I did combo up to, it would have been 75. He went up to 80 anyway, so he wouldn't have died. Um, keep the Gohan in hand and hopefully get Meteor off it which will help me survive the next turn. 
10k is not bad. Uh, I can and uh, I can defend some things, and as I did defend hard last turn, I'm still got three life. So that is paying dividends at this point. So again, I know he just goes tall. Um, he probably does have a double strike here. Here, with five energy, I take this, and I, th I think he does play the double striker. Um, I get the, I very luckily get that super combo on board. Uh, I, yeah, I, I was surprised with the double striker. I wasn't thinking about it at the time, and I actually have just enough combo to get out of this because I got the super combo. Which is extremely lucky, but uh, you know, sometimes that's how it rolls. Um, uh, but I, you know, I had the destructive strength. That could have been a 5k, super combo could have been a 5k, and we would have been, I think, we would have, we would have been fine anyway. And at this point, uh, we just wrap up the game. And that was our, that was our first promotion game, which we won. Uh, and uh, yeah, I think that's only the second uh, God Rank player that I've beaten. I think I've played three overall. Uh, there aren't that many in, in matchmaking. And um, yeah, you know what? Let, let's let's uh, quickly do this replay for the last game as well. This was the level two opponent who. Um, I really wasn't paying attention in this <laughs> very much. I was, I was, uh, I was ended up chatting uh, to some friends. Whilst I was playing this, I was telling them that oh, I just got level two opponent. This is a free promotion, and uh, I was pretty psyched about that. I'm just going to speed this up uh, because the early turns uh, were quite standard. I mean, he did play out uh, the limo. And he, w he wasn't swinging with it, but you know, I thought his style was relatively interesting. Obviously, he's a very new player, but the th some of the things he was doing uh, seemed like um, they were quite effective. So, he is defending his board, uh, and again, the trunks here being just really strong into these sort of matches where the opponent tries to burst you down early um, with, with uh, sort of smaller smaller cards. So at this point I think I just have him white completely um, <laughs> because as you can see my hand is so much bigger than his and I, I, as you can see from my hand I have pretty much everything. I've got the ramp I've got removal, I've got ramp and removal, super combos, meteor. I'm just missing uh, a brolly or an androids, really. And, uh, he plays King Cold here. Um, I can next turn I can I can ramp into Goku or I can play the Gohan. But knowing he is a bit more inexperienced, I choose to play the Gohan. Uh, so the the Goku just to stabilize. Um, so when I do awaken, uh, I know that uh, when I do awaken, I know that uh, I'll be able to defend. Of course, he's making good use of this freezer uh, to try and remove my Goku. Obviously, I will defend us with everything because the the Goku needs to turn board for the Gohan. It's it's just that critical. Uh, and yeah, over defended there because I, uh, as I said, I wasn't really paying attention, uh, which, you know, is a lesson learned. Uh, don't underestimate the opponent, don't disrespect them. Here, I, I think I play the, the super rare, which is definitely the incorrect play. 
Yeah, I played a super rare here. Don't know why. Um, I should have just played the five drop and killed the king gold because the secret rare would have been handy later on in the game. He takes me to four here so I can finally awaken and he plays the double striker, which you know I could have removed with the secret rare. But now without Broly it's going to be difficult for me to get rid of it. Uh, unless I also draw into a big bang attack. Which we don't we don't have any of those, so we're just going to pressure his his life. Um, go trying to put him to three, which he defends. And yeah, he, he's staying at five. That I'm fine with because it means he can't untap his guys. Uh, but I do need to do damage, so. Uh, this should put him to 4, and then I've got 50k with the super rare as well. Which in hindsight, probably, I don't know, may maybe I could have uh, held off held off taking him uh, below 4 so he can awaken. But, you know, if you don't swing at some point, they might just have enough cards to kill you. Uh, yeah, and you haven't really threatened them at all. So here I think I'm okay. Uh, you know, I can defend the double striker, his leader should be fine. And it's, uh, I think at this point he, he uh, I think he drops the second one on me at this point. So he's really trying to take me low here. It is a good opportunity to just pump up to 35 there. The, the thing I've learned about Gohan is that you just want to be you want to be card efficient rather than combo efficient at all times. Uh, so sometimes uh, if you're defending 15k, you need 15, you just use a super combo uh, because you want the options. Yeah, I think I'm okay, uh, and he drops another double striker. Which again, I can't remove because I've already used the secret rare on a 4 drop King Cold. Like he's pinning all of my guys with these double strikers, which I can't get rid of because um, also, as you can see, my one of the big bang attack has been charged. So yeah, I'm staring down these two guys, and I'm thinking, you know, what, what am I going to do? Um, because my hand isn't great, I do have more cards than him, but uh, it's it's going to be difficult to defend everything, and, and I'm sort of doing a lot of maths now at this point, and I know that um, I need to try and rush him down if. I am able to, because he's going to keep pinning all of my guys. We finally do get the Broly, so we need to survive this turn, and we should be fine. So we, um, yeah, I think yeah, he goes down to one. I was hoping that he would defend it. Maybe I should have left it at twenty k. Yeah, um, at one, I thought maybe. Maybe he was he was scared. I, I mean, looking at this now, I probably could have spawned with the transporter and gone to uh, was it 55, which may have done the job. Uh, but I, I think I was a bit flustered at this point. Uh, can't be losing to a level two. And here. Um, yeah, he rested. He rested my my blocker as well. <laughs> so uh, here ag again, I ju I know I just need to defend the doubles uh, because I c I can take a single, 
but the I can't take two doubles. Uh, so this first double gets defended, uh, and the second one, this one we can take. And as he comboed into it, we just snapped it this one. And obviously we get, yeah, we, we get the Meteor off the top, which should close out the game because I don't, yeah, with two cards in hand, he doesn't have enough swings to actually kill me. Twenty-five. I think he goes all in here. Okay, now we, we take this because he's got one card in hand, which means he can't actually kill us. And here in our turn, we just don't even need to brawl it, just anything with the meteor would have done. So that's it. Yeah, that, that was the promotion matches. Uh, shout out to this guy, Big Ethan. Uh, almost, almost beat me. He's only got 33% uh, win rate, but hopefully he doesn't get too disheartened. I think he played. Well, he played the last few turns correctly. Um, capitalized on my mistake uh, as much as he could. So uh, yeah, that that's it. Hopefully we can get some uh, other god ranked matches up as well. And um, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Leave your comments below. You know, tell me where else I misplayed because there definitely were other bits that I missed off. And uh, yep, yeah, uh, like and subscribe. Um, let me know what other things you want me to cover. And uh, just uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a good time playing this game. I is again I'm really enjoying the client and uh, hopefully you are as well and that's it for today I will see you guys next time <laughs>